Coach Clarissa, and today we are going to dive into a little bit of upper cross syndromes. What is upper cross syndrome? Um, simply put, it's when we have a forward posture with our body, because we have our little skeleton here to show us what a healthy spine is supposed to look like. So we have curvature of the neck that we're supposed to have. We have the opposite curvature with the upper back, the thoracic spine, and then we have our nice curvature that we're supposed to have with, with our lower back, the lumbar spine. And all of this works together to keep our body in balance, to give us a nice center of gravity, um, but it also really supports the weight of our head. So if we have upper cross, what we see is that there is a straightening of the neck. Okay, uh, kind of hard to do on this guy. Um, so it has the straightening of the neck, which is going to pull our head more forwards, right? And when we pull our head more forwards, then we see engagement of the traps and we start to see maybe things like tension, headaches, um, maybe we start to see some sh shoulder issues. Now, if we were to take the, the straightening, the forward of the neck and maybe compound that by the body compensating, then we also see exaggeration of this, this thoracic curve and even a further straightening of the, of the cervical spine, the, the neck. So when we are that, the head is very far past the shoulder. So if we're standing here and we're in neutral and we've got the ear over the shoulder, which means that your head is neutral and being supported by your neck. But when you have this going on, you have, your neck is more straight. So it's coming, your head is coming forwards past your body and your neck and your shoulders is then carrying the weight of your head, which gets really heavy through the day. Um, things that are going to exaggerate this type of posture is, you know, being on our phones all the time, right? Um, working at a desk and being hunched over all the time. Um, people that do line work, I mean, you're, again, you're, I have everything forwards. So, and, and you see it a ton in, in the bodybuilding world too, just because of, you know, improper technique when lifting. But what we can do is we can start to bring your body back into alignment. So starting to bring that spine back to a more natural, a more natural healthy curve. And we do that by working to lengthen these muscles across the chest, which are tight from being forwards all the time. Um, you're also going to want to strengthen. So obviously we've got the muscles on the back of the neck are going to be really strong. Um, maybe these are going to also be overactive somewhat on the front because of, of the tension of having that head forwards. But we want to work on finding length here in, in the vertebrae and the back. And we do that by really, by um, kind of tucking your chin. Uh, you're going to place your hand on your chin and then lengthen. So if you push your chin against your hand, you'll feel that you get space in between the vertebrae on the neck. And that over time is going to help retrain your neck to come back you know, to where it's supposed to be. Um, as we work to lengthen these muscles across the front, we also want to be working on strengthening these muscles in the back that are going to help hold the, the chest and the shoulders open, hold those shoulders back and down and help support the weight of your head so that it's not stretched forwards and causing all the issues along the backside and, and the front side of the body. So that, as simply as I could put it, is the upper cross syndrome. Those are some things that may help relieve some of the symptoms you're having. Um, if you think that you might have it, if you're not sure, you can always reach out to us. We're happy to do a posture evaluation with you and help you determine if you know that is something that's going on in your body and then what specific exercises would be most beneficial to helping you resolve that and bringing your body back into a better posture. Watch